what's going on everybody z here welcome back to another astro deer quick tips and basics video so this video we are going to be talking about clay ceramic glass and quartz so you may find yourself needing some of these items well these are not necessarily the easiest items to attain in the beginning uh, if you happen to come across them that's fantastic um, but sometimes they can be tricky to find and we're going to talk about this so hopefully you guys enjoy if you do don't forget to leave a like if you're new here don't forget to subscribe as well for some more so clay is the unrefined resource of ceramic and quartz is the unrefined material resource of glass so you're going to find quartz and clay and then you can refine them and turn them into these bad boys now clay let's talk about clay for a minute clay is typically found on the surface of the planet it's usually found around laying around somewhere it's it doesn't really uh, have a like a guaranteed area that you should find like oh if you find a little uh, little foresty area you might find some clay nearby if you find a mountain area you might find some clay nearby it doesn't really follow those rules so clay is just kind of one of those ones where it can be an absolute pain to find because it's like well where's all the clay at i don't have any clay but i need ceramic i need ceramic for something you know and you might be pulling your hair out like where is the clay i don't know where it's at and kind of the same with quartz but quartz is found underground so let's focus on clay for now and i want to see if i can't find some clay on the surface before we there we go okay we <laughs> we actually managed to find it that was like the fastest i think i've ever found clay so this is clay and this is what you're gonna be looking for if you want to uh just harvest it and gather it and this is what it's gonna look like it's gonna look like little it looks like clay it looks like clay like it looks like little clay nodes <laughs> so this is where you're gonna find it fantastic you found some awesome good days all around but you might get this whole little node and you might be like well I, i'm gonna need more clay than that and now i'm gonna have to go out and find some more fantastic not fantastic because you don't you don't know if you want to do that anymore but Chances are, if you're looking for clay, if you're looking for ceramic, you've already got to the point in the game where you probably have a few things unlocked. If you don't, you might want to look into getting the soil centrifuge unlocked because we talked about that in a previous episode for compound and resin. Well, guess what? It's equally great for clay. So let's head back there. We'll play with that guy so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. And then we'll go out and we'll find some quartz and turn that into glass. Wonderful. We made it back. We have our clay. We can go ahead, we can throw those on there, and guess what? Now we will have our ceramics, so you can make all your ceramic goods. Probably the drill mod. I think the drill mod is usually the first thing that I need for ceramic. Either that or the oxygenator. So now you have those wonderful, wonderful. But now you might need quartz. You might want glass for something, or you might want the quartz for something, because quartz can actually be used to make a beacon. And uh those beacons are very useful but you have to use quartz and not glass so you got to be careful you might not want to re refine all of it clay for the most part refine it all turn it into ceramic turn it into ceramic you'll be good to go quartz on the other hand you might want to keep some unrefined versions of that so let me go down into my cave and we're gonna go see if we can find some quartz and there we have it there is our quartz now i did run a tether line through here already to make sure that we could find this and do things super easy but this is gonna be your quartz you may find this super easy you may not there's a little bit more over there i can see it peeking through but this is again you're just gonna gather it and make yourself some quartz or some glass or whatever you need be careful of the plants there are plants because they like to pop and they also kill you and that's not fun then you have to come back and get your stuff it's horrible awfully not a good time <laughs> but um so we have some quartz i want to gather a little bit more just to make sure we have enough quartz is usually fairly dense so you can get quite a bit of it from one one little node as you can see like we're just like kind of stacking up on it right now which is wonderful it's great because it's one of those items that can be uh you either you you're gonna need it when you need it or you're not um it's it's something that typically you're gonna want very uh very early on especially when it comes to like oxygen canisters or beacons or anything like that so uh, i'm gonna head back now and we're gonna go and smelt this into some glass, but then we're gonna look at the soil centrifuge for uh, quartz and clay. So you're back at your smelter. You go ahead, throw that on there. And like I said, it's, I would keep a couple of them not smelted. That way you just have them at the ready in case you need to make beacons or anything like that. Now, so those are doing their thing, fantastic. We have clay, we have ceramic, we have glass, we have quartz, wonderful. But say you can't find it. Well, if you don't have a soil centrifuge already, I highly recommend them because you can turn your soil canisters into a resource. So let's see, uh, clay. Clay is 
I would say I hardly ever go out and actually find clay because I just use the soil centrifuge. Soil centrifuge I get almost immediately when starting a game because you're going to need a lot of resin to build all the platforms and whatnot. So I usually have this already. And if I need clay or ceramic, I just go ahead and I just turn some soil. One canister of soil into three clay. That is a good deal in my book because you don't have to worry about worry about going out trying to find the stuff, do the things. Let's turn this off for now because this is my current little uh, beginner base. But I pretty much always use this for clay unless I happen to come across some sometimes then I'll just like pick up a couple if I need it. But for the most part, this is my source of clay. Clay is done. Good to go. As you see, we got three off that. Fantastic. But what about quartz? So quartz is one of those ones. It starts to get a little pricier because one full soil canister only gives you two. So this is one of the items I don't typically use this for quartz unless I need it for something and I don't already have some. Uh, quartz is usually fairly easy to find considering all you do is have to go into a cave and just kind of look around a little bit. But you can make quartz in case you need it. If you're in a pinch, if you have extra soil, fantastic. You can go ahead and make yourself some quartz in the soil centrifuge. This, this right here is probably one of the most used uh, platforms in the game next to like the smelter and like the printers and stuff like that. The soil centrifuge is crucial, absolutely crucial, very handy, very useful indeed. But that's going to end this episode, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe as well for some more. Again, uh, this whole playlist is going to be all basics. So if you guys are looking for anything in particular or you just want to kind of like cruise through the playlist, I'll try to keep all the episodes nice and short, less than 10 minutes long, hopefully on all of them. Um, that would be fantastic. Appreciate the support. You guys have a wonderful week and or weekend, and I'll see you in the next one.